Welcome Fucus. We're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with right now using Soul Truth Self Awareness deck, Oracles of the Seven Energies, and Osho Zen Tarot. Tarot. I don't know why I said it like that, but I did. Okay, so let's start. Soul Truth. Three cards for a Fucus for Soul Truth, please. Getting the right cards for you here. This is your soul speaking. Has to, has to give the right information, right? On the floor, on the table, on the table. Okay, Fucus, first card out is From whom can I release my judgment right now? Interesting. Okay, next card is What if it isn't? True. So this is interesting. How can I surrender even more in this moment? Okay, so let's start with the first one here. Okay, so from whom can I release my judgment right now? Oh, excuse me. Okay, judgment closes our heart to truth and separates us from love. True that. It binds us to fear and holds us in shame. On whom are you placing judgment right now? Is it someone in your life? Is it yourself? <clears throat> Release the shackles. Drop the expectations and be grateful for what is. Today's soul action. So even though it says today, I honestly would do this every day for the next couple of weeks. And if you have to come back and remind yourself as to what you need to do, do it. Because this, this is going to help with transformation in your life. Okay, because this is your soul speaking. All right. So this is quite crucial. All righty. So look at the person you are judging as if you were looking at a small child. See them learning and growing, falling down and making mistakes. Their desire to be loved and accepted. Add even more grace to open your heart to this truth. When I lift the judgment from myself and others, I uncover my own truth. I am loved. I am whole. I am limitless. And so are they. Mm, wow. So true. And, and you know, it's still a difficult thing, right? So it's a good thing to practice. It's not going to be easy. And it's not always going to be easy. But when you find that it's not easy, don't judge yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. Just know that you're learning, right? Get back up and try again. Try again tomorrow. Try again the next day. I don't like how that one came out. Okay, so two more cards for judgment. For the focus. One more card. Oh, dang, I thought it wasn't going to land on the floor, but it did. Okay, so if you kiss, the first card we have here is Divine Matrix. This is recreating, I feel, recreating things in your mind. Because I see the head down here and like this sort of divine matrix of what is being manif well, not manifested, but created is above the mind. So it's like this is in your power to create anything you want and so when you're looking at someone else and how you judge them you can change your mind about that right yeah yeah i really like that okay so let's have a look though further into it divine matrix okay just like that quick as quick as the master because you are the master you can create anything you want because you are the master of your life yeah we have totality here as well. And this is standing in this master energy, totally and utterly really connecting into it. Okay? Practicing it. Practicing it to the point of perfection. Doesn't mean you're not going to slip up. It's going to take a lot of practice. 
The master doesn't get to be the master overnight. But this is this too is about you judging yourself, looking at ways in which you judge yourself, not just people around you judging yourself. So every day when you're asking yourself the question, from whom can I release my judgment right now? Make sure that you are number one in that. And then look around you and see who else, right? Who else? Because we judge ourselves all the time, right? We wake up and it's like we slept in. It's like immediately we judge ourselves. Immediately. You know, so be aware of this. Okay, we have Boost Magic here, and I really love this because this is like recreating, recreating someone or the, no, sorry, we can't recreate anyone because they are who they are unto their own creation, right? We can recreate our perception of, of ourselves, of other people. Yeah, recreation. Boost Magic, tell me more about this. For a few kids. Let me pick this one up off the floor too. Okay, if you kiss, I absolutely love this reading. I love this reading for you. This is a new way of traveling, a different way of traveling, right? Choosing a new way, taking the sleep of faith to travel the path in a different way. You may be, be the only one traveling it, but do it. Do it different. Do it differently from how you've always done it. Why not? What have you got to lose? What have you got to gain? Look at how you're traveling the path, you know? Are you traveling it unconsciously? Are you aware of what is going on around you? Are you aware of your mind? Are you aware of, of how it is that you are judging yourself and others? How is that creating your world? Is that bringing more of that to you? Is there an annoying person in your life that keeps on getting at you over and over and over again and they just don't stop? Is that the judgment that is actually getting at you rather than the person? They're just being themselves. Is it the judgment? Right? Sometimes very difficult to take responsibility especially when we have maybe someone annoying around us, right? It's a challenge. It's a challenge. A deep breath. Take a deep breath. <laughs> In the times of need, just breathe, right? A deep breath. Hmm. Two cards for a deep breath for a few days, please. In a voice, suppressing this inner voice. This is suppressing this inner voice here. What else do I say about that? Stop suppressing the inner voice that is trying to speak. This is your soul trying to speak. It's the judgments that are weighing it down. Okay. Oh, I need to sneeze. Hang on. Okay. What if it isn't true? And I don't know what it says yet, but I just want to say, what if the judgment isn't true? What if that annoying person isn't really trying to be annoying? What if that's our own stuff, right? Okay, so what if it isn't true? The thing you are telling yourself right now, the concrete reasons why you think you don't belong, you can't do it, you won't get there, you're not enough, or it's not for you, what if it wasn't true? Today's soul action. It's time for a soul chat. Pull up a chair, make a cup of tea. Close your eyes, put your hands on your heart and ask yourself, oh, sorry, and ask the wise one within you. What if it isn't true? What else might be possible? Journal your answer. What lie do I need to let go of to reach my soul's truth? Oh my gosh, I love that card. I love it. These cards are super cool, man. Super cool. Okay. 
these are neat cards here for you guys okay so what if it isn't true oh wrong deck actually <laughs> what if that wasn't the right deck <laughs> would it be the truth probably okay so three two more cards okay 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 cool 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 the power of purpose purpose the power of purpose oh this is you and your purpose in this world oh oh i love this the power of purpose you see this is like this if, if you see the whole um a, existence of everything as a machine right made up of different cogs in the machine you are one of those cogs you are not just a, 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 a little you know thing on the cog you are the cog right you're pretty you're pretty freaking important here if you guess so don't underestimate yourself okay especially if you're thinking derogatory things about yourself and things that are not true such as you can't, you don't belong, you won't get there, you are not enough, it's not for you, all these amazing things that everyone else seems to get, they're, well, they're not for me, I'm just not good enough, I'm not worthy, that's not true, that is only a belief that you continue to think, and so what happens is then in our life, we we go through and we gather, gather more and more proof of, of how this is the truth for us, this is the power of manifestation, right? If you can do that for something negative, you can sure as heck do it for something positive. The power of purpose. Oh, dang, it's on the floor again. Transformation. Transform this belief, right? You have everything you need. You are more than enough, okay? Once you step into this power, once you allow this master out and really step into these shoes here, if you could, you are going to absolutely, whoo, people are going to be like, what the heck happened to a fugus? I need some of what they got. And you're going to be like, but you do have it. Once you actually really discover it within you and you bring it out and you accept it and embrace it, You are going to fly. The roses kiss. You see, you're going to open up like a beautiful, colourful rose. You're not just going to be a plain white rose or a plain red rose or a plain pink or purple or yellow rose. You're going to be a multicoloured rose. Because that's who you are. There's so many different aspects to you, right? Yes, there's been thorns that have hurt and they've even cut you quite deep. Don't let that stop you from blooming. Don't let that stop you from shining every colour that you possess within. Because the only one who can stop you is you. Right? Let the ladybug come and discover you. The ladybugs only land on things they feel safe around. The ladybug is very delicate. Maybe you feel delicate. One more card. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, see, I feel as though it's really important for you to um, go within, okay, see the areas of your life that you're trying to keep in order, trying to control, um, because the rose is a wild flower, okay, and it can't, um, it's like it can't grow to its full potential in a controlled uh, environment, yeah? And so when it is controlled, it doesn't grow as many flowers or, um, you know, maybe people don't want the thorns that are on the rose. So they pick them off and it damages the rose, right? There's all this control going on. So it's important for you to really take your time to go within so that you can flourish, absolutely flourish, because there is you, the royal you. And I want to encourage you, because this came up for Gemini, and someone else too. Who was that? I can't remember. Someone else. 
but go and have a look at Gemini's reading because I feel like this is also for you. For you to step into that power. Okay, Fucus. Whether you have Gemini in your chart or not, I feel like this that it, it, there is a message there for you as well. Okay, so the royal you, this is about you putting on your crown and accepting that you are, you are more than you give yourself credit for. Way, way, way more. You are the shizzle. You really are the fetus. It's time to allow yourself to step into that and be that. You're not this. See, this is you hanging in the balance and letting the sorrow control you. You're not the sorrow. You are so much more than that. It's time to stand up It is really time to stand up now It's really interesting because I'm sure these came up in Gemini as well This card here how can I surrender even more in this moment? It is essential to have clear, strong intentions of what we desire, but it's equally important for us to detach from the outcome. It's time to surrender. Let the universe have some breathing room to work. Let go of the wheel and trust so deeply that your trust turns into gratitude for what you cannot yet see. Sorry, for what you cannot see yet, but you know is coming. Today's soul action, know this so deeply that your soul vibrates, okay? Know this. You are not alone. Your life has purpose, and the more you surrender, the more God can produce miracles in your life. Today's mantra. I surrender. I accept all that I cannot change. I release the outcome and I joyfully trust the process. A fucus. This is something to live by. I love this. Okay, let me get the right deck here. The power of purpose, right? Three cards. Three cards for surrender. For a fucus, please. Okay. Focus. yeah look see this reminds me of this here the land in between hanging in the balance wanting to get onto solid ground but not sure how but it's this this choice as well this choice and I feel like the choice I, I actually feel like it's just a matter of taking a step that is all you need to do you don't need to take a hundred steps just one just one step if you kiss one step in the direction that you're going in, that you need to go in, because it's like, it's like there was a life that you had over here. There was a life that you had, and it's changed for whatever reason. I feel like it was changed dramatically for you, and it's as though you're sort of on the land in between. You may even be on the bridge to the land in between. Here's what I want to say about this, Afukas, is it feels like you're not settled and it may feel like you're not stable and it may feel like all I want is my life back. I just threw the card on the floor. All I want is my life back. Why can't I have my life back? I didn't want this. I didn't ask for this. Why can't I have my life back? And maybe it's, it's not about trying to right now create a new life maybe it is just accepting that you're on the bridge in between that life and another life right now 
just going okay on in on on the in between you know maybe that's all it takes right now yeah but let's have a look at two cards for this yeah courage this is the courage that's taking you that you're having to muster up right now just to grow just to be it's not easy it's tough yeah it's tough you're out of your comfort zone completely and utterly <clears throat> mm. and it's like yeah you just want to be back there I get that I totally get it Fucus. I totally do and the thing is that some days are easier than others right some days you're like, yeah, I've got this. I've totally got this. I can do this. What am I on about? Next day, oh my God, I can't go. I can't do this. You know, it's, and, and you know, part of that is just going with that flow of allowing yourself to have those moments and accepting and loving yourself anyway and just surrendering to that flow because that is all part of it. You know, because who knows, the next day you might take another step forward, you know? The next card here is a time machine. Um, this, I feel like some of you want to go back or go forward. Either way, you don't want to be where you are right now. I feel like the whole purpose is just accepting where you are right now and surrendering to that. Because you want to feel better, right? Time machine. patience having people around you who celebrate you who love you who support you right knowing that it will pass um but nurturing yourself and loving yourself rather than getting frustrated with yourself why aren't i there yet for goodness sakes it should be okay now why isn't it okay now why is this still coming up for me loving yourself anyway Loving yourself anyway, minute by minute, second by second, if that's what it takes. Stomach just grumbled then. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that, but in my stomach, it likes to have it say. And it's like, yeah, right? <clears throat> yeah, because here's the thing, the time machine, it does turn, it does travel. This moment in time will never come again. Nor this one, nor this one. It's gone. Voila, poof, done. Right? So find ways that you can adjust your energy. Adjust yourself if you have to go off and have a shower, if you have to go for a walk, move, get up, break that state. You're still going to feel the ache, but break your state. Okay? Earth magic. Look at this beautiful... Okay, there's a couple of things here. Some of you need to get out and ground yourself. Okay, some of you need to get out in the fresh air. But I want you to really think about your, your footprints on this earth and what they count for, what you count for, your purpose, your role. Look at that. See yourself as, as significant. Okay. See yourself as significant. Because you are. I'm not just saying that. You actually are. Because I look at these cards here and I see how you are. Yeah. This is... You have this wisdom within you, um, which is this, okay? And um, there's this sort of deception within you as well which is popping up it's it's like the ego the ego gets off on pain so it holds the pain there don't let the ego do that to you put the ego back in its place and continue walking your path 
yeah? And anyone around you who is deceiving you by keeping you down, keeping you under the, under the thumb, so to speak, keeping you in line, remember who you are. Step into that power. The royal you. Let's give us the royal you, because this is why they keep you down. Because they don't want you to remember or realize who you are. So, Fucus, you need to go definitely watch that Gemini reading because, yeah, that's for you too. Okay. Um, yeah. Fucus, you are the shizzle. Don't forget that. Okay. Don't forget it. And take care of your beautiful self. Okay. See you. Bye-bye.